now that we have successfully uh, downloaded and installed the uh, JDK and the JRE, uh, let's drill down to the C drive and see where they have been installed. So we go into program files on the C drive and you can see there if you go down you see Java uh, and that's the JDK and JRE. Here they are. They're both installed and uh, the difference between JDK and the JRE, let's let's have a look. The Java distribution kit. If we, if, if we go into the bin library, sorry, if we go into the bin library, and you can see here you have the Java C, that's a Java compiler. And we've got here as well uh, all sorts of other uh, uh, utilities uh, needed by Java uh, distribution kit. However, uh, for just running application in GRE, and I believe Tomcat requires a GRE, if we go into the bin and we drill, we drill down, we can find the Java, the Java virtual machine, the, the, the Java engine. But as you can see here, we don't have the compiler. Java C is not there. So the GRE is needed for the running environment. Now, having said all that, uh, in this tutorial, we are going to uh, configure the pass, but we, bef before we're doing this, uh, let's experiment with something. If we go into the Java the, the JDK, and now uh, let's type uh, CMD into the address bar, and this will bring uh, uh, the DOS shell. So CMD, we, we hit enter, and you can see uh, we are in the uh, command shell, the DOS command shell, and uh, as you notice, we are in the bin under the JDK. And if we do a if we type Java C here and hit enter, you can see the Java compiler is working here. However, if we if we go a higher level, uh, one directory above the bin, and we do the Java C here, we get an error. So you can see here because it doesn't find the Java C dot exe. Uh, the Java here, Java C exe, the executable file, is not in this directory. It's only in the bin directory. And and this is uh, the reason I'm showing you this is uh, that's the reason we need to put this in the path, because when we when we create a variable in the path, in the it's like a global variable, but for the whole Windows system. And that way, uh, what uh, Windows will do initially, or the, the shell will do. It will look in the local directory. If it doesn't find it, then it'll go and search in the path. And uh, the same thing with the Java virtual machine. So now let's um, let's see how to configure the path. So if we go to my computer here, proper, and we we select the properties uh, selection, and we go to advanced settings, and the envir environment variables here. And the first thing we do, we create the two variables, what I like to call as global variables. And so first we do a new here, select new. And uh, I have kept those variables in a, in a notepad. So I'm going to open my, I'm going to bring that up. And uh, as you see here, uh, my two variables are here. The first one I'm going to create is a Java home. And by convention, this is called Java home. Uh, we will copy. Uh, we will copy the pass, the uh, the directory pass, uh, which we have in Notepad, and this point to the directory of the JDK. So that's as you can see, it's the variable value, and Java Home now is pointing to that directory. And now we need to create a second variable here as well. So we created the first one. Here you go, Java Home. Now we do a new. Again, we click on new. Now, and this one is for the JRE, and we're pointing at the directory of the JRE. Control copy, control paste, and that takes care of the JRE. So now we've done this bit. Next, we are going to configure the path. So what's happen What? Why we need to do this now? Um, what happens? Windows first. We look in the local in the directory where you type your command. When I, if you recall, when I type Java C under the bin directory. Uh, the operating system windows will look into inside the, inside the directory, uh, the DOS shell. Uh, and if it finds Java C, it, it, it happily executes that. 
However, if it doesn't find it, it will go and look in this path here. And you notice this is the path, the existing path. So if I do an edit here, you see this path here is identical to this one here, which I have copied and pasted here. And you notice here, it will look in here to find this, the bin of the Java JRE home. And it will look there to see whether we put in that path, whether, there, whether the path exists here. And if it, if it doesn't, if it finds it, then we'll execute it. Otherwise, we'll return an error again, an error, uh, the same error again. So, uh, so what we need to do in that pass up there, here, after the period semicolon, we add a semicolon, then we do percentage Java home and the bin. So what we're doing is, whatever is in the pass here, add to it, add to this pass. So don't ignore what's before. Add to this string to the pass to the class pass. Uh, this variable which we have created uh, earlier, we just created, which we just created now, and as you recall, this Java home points to the JDK uh, directory, and then and then append to it again this the bin because we know that our executable file, the Java compiler is in the bin. So we've added the first one successfully, and semicolon. Now next we need to add the second one, which is the JRE here. You see that? So we copy that with the semicolon. Make sure because semicolon separate each variable in the class pass. Yeah, and if you like, you can type all this manually if you prefer. I always put them in the notepad because I can see them. I copy them, paste them here, and start adding my bits, and say OK and OK, and click OK again, and that's it, we're done. Now we need to test this, so let's head back again to our C drive, and now just from the root directory of the C drive, if we type Java C, and as you can see, now it runs one earlier, it didn't run. Uh, the reason being is, it looks in the Java, in, in the C directory here, it doesn't find the Java C command, then it goes up to the, uh, C, to the class pass uh, string, looks in there, find the pass there, uh, searches all the paths, starts from the beginning to the end, uh, so it will find the Java C, the first one it locates, it will execute it. And that's the desired behavior we, uh, uh, we need. That is all for now. And um, see you in the uh, next tutorial. Bye for now.